Hey guys, and welcome back to SCL TV Live. And now joining me in the studio is my girl, Lux, from 105.7 The Point. Hey girl. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. Thanks. Dude, I've been trying to get you on the show forever. I know. But you're just so popular. Oh no, just busy. It's crazy busy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if popularity has anything to do with it. Now you're on 105.7 The Point. How long have you been there? Um, I have been with the company for about five years, but I just became full-time Monday through Friday, middays, um, on air in August. So it, it's almost a full year oh for me Oh my gosh, how cool. Mm -hmm. Now how did you start off in radio? Um, well, I went to a job fair when I was studying media communications in uh, Warrensburg, Missouri at Central Missouri State. Mm -hmm. And I walked around the job fair trying to find, uh, you know, Know, something part-time that I could do right. while I was going to school and I couldn't find any that were not work study mm -hmm. and I finally found one table in the entire auditorium and it was for a local radio station um, top 40 and uh, oldies uh -huh. so all the applications had been filled out except for one so I filled it out and put will work for peanuts <laughs> and a smiley face and they hired me with no experience <laughs> Wow! so uh, that was my first radio station when I came back to st. Louis to study at Webster University Webster, woo -woo. Webster. <laughs> I'm such a proud Gorlock graduate I, am too. <laughs> I love Webster yay me too yeah. I'm actually uh, very proud to be the voice of all the Webster commercials that is so, so great I just feel such pride but uh, mm -hmm. when I came home to st. Louis um, I saw a job posting for part-time five to ten hours mm -hmm. promotions assistant uh, handing stickers out uh, for the point so I applied brought in my resume and within um, I guess about two months uh, Scott Rizzuto who was the mid uh, midday guy and the music director uh -huh. was like hey I heard you did on-air stuff do you want to do it here and I said yes so wow. Just been working my way up ever since. That is so awesome. Now here I am. Now being in radio, you have to love music. I like, do. What's your favorite types of music? Do you, and do you get to play them on the radio? Um, I do a little bit. Alternative rock is my favorite, so I feel very lucky. Not everybody who works in radio right. gets their first big time job at a station that plays the type of music they like. So I feel very blessed. Mm -hmm. um, Rage Against the Machine, The Offspring, um, Radiohead is like my favorite band. Yeah. So I get to play them from time to time and it makes me pretty happy. That's so cool. You get to travel a lot too. Oh I my do. God, we're, we're Facebook and Twitter friends. Yay. I'm like, this girl is all over. You got to go to Coachella. I did, I went to Coachella. Um, I broadcasted live from the Jameson Distillery yeah. in Dublin, Ireland over yes, St. Patrick's I Day. That. Uh, How was they that sent me to How was Oh, Dublin? incredible. Absolutely incredible. I highly recommend that everybody try and make it there once. It is uh, an expensive trip. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the flight over there is pretty expensive, although thank you to Jameson <laughs> for uh, you know, you know, putting that through for me. Right. Uh, but it's definitely a very um, unique experience right. to be there on their biggest day of the year. Was it your first time ever in Dublin? It was. That's so awesome. And actually, I have some uh, ancestry from County Cork mm -hmm. um, in Ireland, so it was kind of cool to be an Irish redheaded lass running Woo! around. Drinking Jameson, <laughs> being crazy. I, they, they pay me to drink Jameson to talk about it on the radio. Is that a real job? <laughs> Whose life am I living, you know? Yeah, so where other places have you been with the station? Um, well, the last couple years, I was lucky enough to go to Lollapalooza Music Festival, which is actually coming up August 3rd through the 5th in Grant Park, Chicago, which mm -hmm. is a very big festival. Um, and then obviously the Coachella Music Festival, which everyone was, was talking that? about. I know, everyone was talking about that. Everything about uh, the Tupac hologram is wow. exactly true. When you see the video, you can just imagine that real time, it's just so wow. awe-inspiring. The amount of people and uh, all the creative art pieces and stuff that they put together for that kind of a festival, just yeah. incredible. And the desert is gorgeous. It was a really great opportunity for independent artists too as well, yes. right? Did you get to check out any independent, I, independent artists? I did, actually, it's just, you know, finding new artists is mm -hmm. really what's so cool. Um, smaller bands on smaller labels, things that you might not have heard of or types of music that you might not have heard of. It's like, oh, I never, I'm not a huge electronic fan, but going to listen to it and then hearing a band and being like, oh, and then going home and buying the CD and yeah. stuff, that's what's really cool about that's it. so awesome. You guys, I, we have a lot more to talk about with my girl. Look at all our information on the screen. Make sure you hit her up on Twitter um, and also on Facebook. She's so personable and so friendly. She'll talk back to you. <laughs> you guys, don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more coming up right after this. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. You got to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. Keep it locked on STL TV, and we'll be right back with more.